everyone, my name is Rachel and today we are diving back into the ever interesting, ever changing world of Tumblr. So the other night I'm just like sat in bed and I can't sleep and I decided to open the Tumblr app on my phone. I don't exactly know why but it happened and I figure I wonder what some of the unpopular opinions are on Tumblr and I found them. The response I had to some of these posts varied like everywhere from like that's not an unpopular opinion, that's just common sense what kind of parallel world are you living in where that is an unpopular opinion? To, yeah, it's a bit weird, mate. Mm. So today we're gonna to be looking at a few posts from the unpopular opinion hashtag on Tumblr and kind of just discussing them. The posts I picked out aren't meant to be like super extreme or super controversial. They're just ones I thought would make some interesting talking points. So I'm gonna stop my rambling and we are gonna jump right into this. First up, unpopular opinions. Being overweight isn't healthy, however that doesn't give you the right to harass mo and mock them for being overweight. Just stay in your lane, you aren't helping them by shaming them. And this is one of those, that shouldn't be an unpopular opinion cases. This should just be common sense. The science has proven that being overweight is not healthy, just like being underweight isn't healthy. By denying the health risks associated with obesity, you're just putting yourself in more danger. That's, that's a fact, that's an unavoidable fact. But of course, you should never shame someone because of how they look. Calling someone gross and disgusting because they're overweight or underweight is not acceptable. But pointing out that someone is um, risking heart disease by being morbidly obese isn't mocking. It's just a fact. Just like saying smoking increases your risk of lung cancer. It's not mocking people who smoke. It's just a fact. So yeah, this was one of those times where I was like, this is weird to be an unpopular opinion because it just, it, it, it's common sense. On the same post, it writes, people of color can be racist. Again, common sense. In what crazy Tumblr world is this an unpopular opinion? For me, racism isn't just about targeting minorities. It's about targeting anyone based on their race, on a genetic factor that they have no control over making assumptions and being rude to people, mistreating people based on their race. That's what racism is. And I think anyone can be racist. And just because white people may be a majority in certain Western countries like the US and the UK, it doesn't mean we're the majority everywhere. That's why people of color can be racist towards the minorities in say, China or other parts of Asia where white people are a minority, you know? So basically what I'm saying is this is just one of those common sense things. Punching someone because you disagree with them is wrong and is considered assault. Common sense again, mate. Calm civil debate is better than protests. Just point out flaws in the arguments instead of trying to silence it. Yes, I wish more people lived by this. This one again, unpopular opinion. If you don't want to include bisexuals, pansexuals, asexuals and trans people in Pride Month, then you're a butt and consider yourself uninvited. Yes, thank you. Again, this should be a common sense, popular opinion. I don't get why this is an unpopular opinion. Pride Month is for everyone. It's celebrating all sexualities, whether that's different from the norm or not. It doesn't matter if you're like in the majority of the minority of, or or in your, if you're in a mi minority of the minority. I'm I'm not making sense here. The point is, I think things like pride and you know kind of pro lgbt celebrations and stuff like that should include everyone and we should be raising awareness of all kinds of people and all kinds of sexualities and showing that there's nothing wrong with them of course i draw the line at people who want to include things like pedophilia in there because yes while technically it's a sexual preference that you can't control it is one that harms someone because you've got this power imbalance and the child can't consent, they're not old enough to understand what's happening, um, and it, you know, science has shown that it damages them. There's been no scientific proof that being gay damages people and so on. Y you know what I'm saying. So anyway, point, point is, I don't get why this is an unpopular opinion. Tumblr is a weird place. Same goes for this one, right? Unpopular opinion. I don't think religion should be interwoven with politics. Yes, thank you. Uh, not only because it goes against the First Amendment, that's kind of like an American thing, but also because not everyone is religious and not everyone should be forced to subscribe to religious ideas. Separation of church and state, y'all. Did I say y'all right? I feel American now. I'm completely behind this and again, don't understand why it's an unpopular opinion. This should just be common sense if you ask me. Like, as an atheist, I don't want parts of religion thrust into my life. Um, just like a Christian wouldn't want 
parts of Islam thrust into their life or, you know, a Muslim wouldn't want parts of Christianity thrust into their life or um, a Jew wouldn't want parts of Wicca thrust into his life. There are certain things we can't deny, like how religions have shaped our societies and how religions have had an influence on our laws and stuff in the past. But that doesn't mean that when it comes to policy making, we should consider religious morals and teachings like at the forefront of making policies, you know? I think we're past that stage where mythology should influence our lives to that, um, that degree, I guess you could say. And I think now it has to be more based in science and understanding people and what's best for people as a whole rather than just what was written in an old book. Um, next up is a really, really serious one, um, Unpopular Opinions Food Edition. <sighs> this could be controversial, I'm warning you guys, all right? Avocado is gross unless it's in guac. I have mixed feelings about this one, right? Because on the one hand, yes, avocado is gross and that shouldn't be an unpopular opinion, but I know it is. Unless it's in guac. No, even guacamole is disgusting. It just tastes of avocado with a bit of seasoning and other stuff in there. It's still disgusting. It's bland and horrible and blah. It tastes funny in your mouth and it's got a weird feel and it's wrong. I have to disagree with them on the next point though. They say onions shouldn't exist, to which I just have to say you shouldn't exist. Onions are fantastic. White onions are a bit gross, I'll give you that, but red onions are amazing and they go in everything. You can eat them raw, you can eat them cooked, you can fry them, you can saute them, you can- don't boil them, my parents do that and it's disgusting. You can steam them, you can roast them, they're amazing. Onions are the best and if you don't like them, you're wrong. See, don't ever say we don't cover the important topics on this channel, alright? I am shaping your future with these opinions here. Fake meat will never look, feel, taste like real meat and is never an option for me. This one um, I don't agree with because I really like the idea of lab grown meat. If we can get the, the look, the taste, the feel, the nutrients, if we can get everything without having to kill innocent animals, I am all for that and I would switch in an instant. Even if it cost a bit more at first, I would switch. Um, I think you're just not willing to try here and I, I think you should give it a go before you're like, oh no, I don't want to do that. Open yourself up to new things, you know? You don't need huge globs of mayo for a sandwich. I agree on that. Furthermore, if you dip your fries in mayo, you're weird. Uh, furthermore, you're weird, shut up. <laughs> no, I hate ketchup. Um, I don't really like to dip my chips or my fries in anything, but if I do, it's a little bit of mayo. Not all water tastes the same. Again, this is just a fact, not an unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion. Y'all, uh, see, I'm get, getting in here with the y'alls again. Uh, Y'all can dislike certain groups without having to be so damn mean about it. Yes, I agree, thank you. Civil discussion and sharing opinions, like, I'm all for that. I think it's brilliant, I think it's productive, I think it's great. But when people just start name calling and it's like, me, 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 me. Like, when people disagree with me on my videos and it's like, oh, shut up, you stupid hoe. You, like, there's no point to it. I think, I think sometimes though it is, some people kind of like jump to like calling people out for being like, oh, you're being mean and stuff. Um, when like I, that's that's not exactly the case. Like if, if someone, for example, is being like horrifically homophobic and they're being like, you people are disgusting. You people don't deserve basic human rights. You people don't deserve this and this and this. And my response to that is to take the things that they're saying and mock them to show them how ridiculous that is. I don't think that's necessarily like being mean, it's kind of just proving a point about their points. Whereas if I turn around and say, well your points are invalid because you have stupid eyebrows and a big nose and you're like three pounds overweight and it's revolting and disgusting, like that would be mean. But pointing out the flaws in someone's argument, if even if you do it in like a humorous or stupid or slightly mocking way, I don't necessarily think is like mean and I still think it can be kind of helpful. I know it's tough, there's, there's a thin line and it's difficult to walk on the right side of it, but yeah, I don't think people should just be like overtly mean for no reason just because you disagree with someone on one or two issues, you know? This one, unpopular opinion. If you have to beat down men to uplift women, you're doing it wrong. Yes, thank you. Can we just stop with all the people who claim to be feminists who just sit there bashing men all the time saying, men do this wrong, men do this wrong, men do me, 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 me. No. At the end of the day, we're all people, we're all humans, everyone has feelings, everyone has lives, everyone has things that they want from life, and sometimes people go about it in the wrong way, and sometimes people are sexist, but women do that too. 
If you make an assumption about someone just because they're a man, you're being sexist. Just like if you make an assumption about someone because they're a woman, you're being sexist. My point is, uplift everyone, and like, I think sometimes people place too much of an issue on gender and say, well, you can't do this because you're this gender, or you must do this because you're this gender. I'm like, guys, just, just screw gender, okay? It's a thing, it's how people identify themselves, it's there, okay? But we don't have to make a big deal about it and like bring it into everything, you know? And there's another thing recently about people arguing about like who should pay on a date. And I'm like, do you think same-sex couples argue about this stuff? No, so why should a heterosexual couple? Like for me, if someone offered to pay on a date, like, I'd say, oh, thank you, I'm flattered, I'll get it next time. Or I'd say, are you sure? I don't mind going halves with you. Or like, if I was earning a bit more money than them or something like that, or like I was the one who asked someone out, I'd be like, oh, I'll get this, don't worry. For me, like offering to pay for someone like, is not an insult, especially if it's like a man offering to pay for a woman, it's not an insult. Not everything is like deeply embedded in sexism. Not every man is trying to like squash down women and make them into your property by like paying for their food. Like that is stupid if you think like that. And if you have such a like simplistic view of like feminism and rights, then you just kind of need to grow up a little bit. My friends don't get mad when we're out and I'm like, oh, I'll buy this barrel of drinks. They don't think, you're trying to oppress me. Like me and my friends go out all the time and most of them are guys and they'll be like, oh, I'll buy this round of drinks. I don't feel oppressed by that because it's my friends doing something nice for me. Just like I wouldn't get mad if my d dad gave me some money for something or bought something for me. Offering to pay for things and like do nice things for people or like pay for a dinner or a round of drinks or buying someone a gift. It's a way to show you care about them. It's a way of saying, hey, I love your company. I love spending time with you. Let me get this to give you something back, you know? Not everything is like deeply rooted in this like patriarchy and oppression. I think sometimes people read too much into things. I got really off topic here, but just wanted to rant. Uh, next up, I don't know. I still don't think that homosexuals are really oppressed. They can just pretend to be heterosexual, heteroromantics if they don't want to get into trouble. I don't know. I think you're a douche. If a person has to hide parts of who they are just to not get into trouble, kind of oppression. When people are literally like sat there debating over whether you should be allowed to get married and have kids, essentially to have a normal life just because of who you're attracted to and who you love and it's not actually harming anyone and you can be in a consensual adult relationship that's very happy and very functional and people are still sat there going mm. but I don't know because sometimes you put it in its butt that's kind of oppression and if people are sat there debating whether or not you should be allowed to adopt kids or have kids and how you'll be terrible parents just because you happen to be two women and one of you doesn't have a penis that's kind of oppression you know they don't consider what you two are like as individuals and people they just think because you're two women you can't raise a child well yeah that's oppression and then of course there's all the countries out there where people are literally killed for being gay people have to spend their lives hiding and that's not fair it's easy to say oh well you can just pretend to be straight but why should they doesn't everyone deserve a chance to live a happy, fulfilled life and have everything they want? If they want to get married and have a family, why shouldn't they be allowed to do that? If they want to fall in love, why shouldn't they be allowed to try and find that? Anyway, with that, I'm going to end this here because this video is getting on a little bit and I didn't want it to be that long. But in typical me style, I've been rambling away because why not? Anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what you thought of all of these unpopular opinions. Uh, let me know if you agree with any of them, if you disagree with any of them. Let me know what your unpopular opinions are down in the comments below. Uh, but for now, thank you so, so much for watching today. I appreciate you guys so, so much and I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for everyone who's supporting my channel this month, especially everyone supporting me on Patreon, including Gambit and his chauffeur, Deshaun, Mark Darner, Christian Berg, Rachel B. Royer, Jaden Shepard, Jaylee Moore, Religions BS, Sir Michael Moore, Christian Opitz, Sage Villarreal, Greg Ladd, and Spencer Young. You're all seriously amazing and I can't thank you enough. Also check out everyone else mentioned on the end screen here and down in the description below. And if you've got a little bit of spare time and you want to check out my merch store then uh, you know you can, you can do that if you want, no pressure.